Oh, the uh. What's that? What's that, brother? Bill, welcome to the Project Watch. This is Serpy. Today, reluctantly, I have to go cover right, the appeal verdict. I must say reluctantly because I was thinking I was going to the rest of the video that I planned, but then I started to get bombarded with messages. People are telling you, but you have to cover this. I said, well, go on. I don't need to cover that. Story this big. All of the so called experts, them, all of the so called professionals, people who claim to them study journalism. Right before Wappy even born, much as Wappy kill Philo, all them people that have this lock in and need me. We can just go and make a video. People must look at YouTube, but we can't believe what we are seeing. Not just the main, and the vlogs are my one thing, but the mainstream media, you have to take it down. So, here I am. Before we go into that, here's a little side story. Remember the PIA link, me I tell me, say, the Gaza fraternity, the Free Cartel Army. Right, the new strategy when them see right, the kind of impact we had with the Rajik video on the movement in general. Right, the new strategy is to deploy them people right, on the different news pages and blog pages because they realize that every time a story drop, like with you know the medical name case down the central village. All the masses people say, yo, sir, you said this, and I know, so sir, you said this for real, John, look what a real thing, John. Oh. There are new strategies to try and deploy for them people, right, in the comment section to try and establish all kind of false narratives. When we hear that, not for law. That's the best the Gaza can do. Because they have superior numbers, so them think, well, if you know how we do this, then it's over. You don't lack the IQ or work ethic right, to stand in my way. It's been years now. That Rajik video, I told you. I told you what would happen. I told you that video right, would be groundbreaking. Veni, Vidi, Vici. I would even help you push your narratives. Because it's nothing new, remember? The first narrative was that. Man, them say my bad mind scammer. I fight against artists. Them say man take over for a girl. Man. But let's take it and run with it. What they have grossly miscalculated is my desire to be liked by the people. So they think if you know how we can say this, you know how we can push certain false narratives to make the people them turn on the look YouTuber then. What they don't understand is the quote unquote people turning on the look YouTuber and the movement, these are acidic people anyway. So it's not a loss. Yeah, here we up. So as usual, the day start off with all kind of puppy show business. We see our Bird Samuels Thai boy. Put out this video. Those of you in St. Thomas, you know what to do. Just send up to prayer and re up the gathering, you know? So, all my peoples in St. Thomas, um, y'all know what it is. It's that time, so I'm, I'm going to cut the live. Live did nice, you know, but y'all join me after, later tonight. So, if you're in Jamaica, five. This is the man who them claim says all about. Standing up for this and standing up for that. Sent out, is it sooner or later? Sent out, most people are going to stand up for themselves. When I met them, look a funny renter dread. I'm saying funny, I mean a comedian type of funny. Right. Right. So certain things and man, at, I'm like, this man is supposed to be a professional. This man is supposed, these are the people they say Jamaican should aspire to be, you know, the, the lawyer, the, the noble profession. Noble. I sprat. We must have known all this thing really work, you know. Later on, another year, right? Who actually masterminded this whole thing? I sprat them only turn up and I get credit at the end. This thing was set up by the devil himself. I'm mean, gonna talk about the one nice tenet. it. I'm gonna give you know, five or six things I learn observing the Privy Council appeal verdict. Right. And what it means and what it shows about Jamaican society as a whole. Number one on the list in Islam, we have the story of loot, L U T. Some of you may know it as Lot, L O T. In Christianity, you have the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. 
in the agnostic world, people don't even follow open religion. You can give examples of places like, matter of fact, even Ironman, people tell us when poor royal did sink, it was the wickedest place on earth. When we are listening to Jamaican people and I see the reaction from Jamaican people, if Jamaica is dead, it close to doing it. Jamaica is the new loot, the new Saddam and Gomorrah. Vibes Cartel is the new Barabbas. That's his name, Vibes Barabbas. The people say, give us Barabbas. From uptown to downtown, some of the wickedest people never see. Put that on record, from uptown to downtown, from the suit and tie to no tie. Just listen to the people, listen to their reaction. Listen to what them really are say. There's a reason why Jamaica tops the world in murder rate. In the whole world, there's not three countries where murder at a higher rate. And them tell us our poverty cause that, me tell us our culture and mindset, some of the wickedest people ever see. And them get up every day, Bible this, God that, them love this and them love that. Saturday them in a church, Sunday them in a church, then them a rasta, then them a this, some of the wickedest people ever see. When they really listen to them I say, Five Scar Tell is the new Barabbas. Just like then, the crowd was on Barabbas' side. People say, look how much people are support. That no mean history has taught us that the crowd, the crowd, the masses, and then after certain people dead, then them turn them in a hero and start big dot about John was the man, they was the real man. Vibes Barabbas. Hey, world sprat. Don't make the hype fool you. The amount of wickedness, the amount of destruction you bring down. Your true punishment already started. You know? I know I'm not afraid of courts. The majority of influencers, party promoters, everybody who you think is more, 90% of the people who you see on the internet, who popular and never following, these people are agents. I broke it down for you in the House Negro video. The custodian class, then I'm telling the House Negro who sit below it. I tell you, said, from the journalist to the entertainer, to the, to the influence, the people them own to see, the people them own that want to be like, these are agents. They are who make the masses draw to them because what them push is fun and exciting and nice. It's sweet. But me tell you something about sweet. This is sweet. Sweet kills. Just like with medicine. Everything where tastes bad, and that are the good thing. Let me tell you about things that are too sweet and too nice. Is anything that are too nice and too sweet? Usually has a detrimental effect on the human body. I see where it go. Entertainers and the, the influencers and the popular people and the people that want to be like. It is of death. I tell that already a long time. That's why you say 90% of them are outright screaming free world spread and the masses are follow. Because it's the host Negro class who set the narrative and the field Negro follow. This is why everywhere you go, especially in the Western world, you will see the black community. It's the same thing. All the DJ them are both to go and chop the line and, and sell dope. And the female artists them are talking about who did this sound and crutches this and, and they hear them talk about. I heard Jada Kingdom do a song with you called Gen Z Jezebel. People sending to me, I couldn't believe it. Women are now calling themselves Jezebel. I they said reach these people are agents of death. Right. These are agents of the custodian class. Check who own the record companies and check who own the publishing this and publishing that. Right, you will see they don't look like Shabarangs or Tanto Blocks. Check the people who own the record company in America. Check the media houses are the same people with a small group of people who own everything. I call them the custodian class. The host Negroes are their puppets. The majority of the influencers Party people them. Some of them carry seen there when we see a ball out this. And them see when we see a ball with you for justice. Say so people people shouldn't be able to just kill them. The same people them who la ball and done a leak case and now say listen must go suck him more kind of where body there. We don't find nobody. So that no count. This is extraordinary. Them ask me look at YouTube or you, you can't give up on Jamaica. I don't give up on Jamaica. Give up on the youths. Me tell them already say. Iron Man, this current crop of Jamaicans might not be able to turn on, but Jamaica will always be here. 
Always think about the next generation. It can't do that so. Rome wasn't built in a day. America never become superpower in a day. China, just 60, 70 years ago, China was nobody. Now they are global power. So no, I'm not giving up on Jamaica. But as for this current crop of Jamaican, especially the one that must on the internet, right? They're lost. But the next generation can be saved. Some of the wickedest people they may ever see. Free the Jamaicans like posts. Second point. The mainstream media in the Jamaica are pathetic. The mainstream media, well, mainstream media in general. That's why I my young kids call them lamestream media. They are pathetic. In the future, you will see them crumble like dry leaves. History will not remember them fondly. Their coverage of this case has been shambolic. People only tell me, say, a real journalist. You're not a real journalist. Them are real journalists. Bunch of puppet house negroes tap dancing around in our circus. When they see people are like me and I say, look at you, I'm going to believe it. Watch this, I can't believe Organizations like Nationwide to change their name to Nation Circus. The mainstream media in Jamaica, TV and radio, tell them, say, miss it. They are nothing more than a bunch of pathetic house negroes and they will crumble like dry leaves in our drought. History will not remember you fondly. Don't think, say, the days when time you couldn't impress, but I tell you, oh, I went to school for this. This is why you are losing out to vloggers and YouTubers. Mainstream media is dying a slow death. Tell them that, man. Radio, TV, all that nonsense is dying a slow death. Because the people must start, the people them who not loud, because I must say have people active and vocal on social media. Man. We have people who don't really say much, but them observe what I go on. Them see right through. No. I was watching after, this is why I was thinking, not even need to cover this, because them claims that all the so-called top journalists, them and the this and that, and the experts and the legal experts are covered. So I said, them don't need to look at YouTube then. When I take heed what I go on, it was pathetic. People like Dion Jackson, Miller, only claims that expert. Don't make me laugh. None of these people have delved deep into this case, you know. None of them are digging and prying on the fact that a so-called innocent man right, had a juror trying to bribe people saying he's not guilty. You think that juror took 500,000 of his own money to go bribe people? That juror who was seen meeting up with lawyers? Isn't that right, Pierre? They are all stating things out of context. Well, the verdict has been quashed, like the privy council say, yeah man, we look on the evidence and nothing to go say, yeah man, that's that. That's not what happened, is it? They know why this happened, but they're not asking the questions. Because they don't want to upset daddy, they don't want to upset the Gaza fans. These are no journalists, these are puppets and clowns. Nothing more than a bunch of speaky, spooky house negroes. In 60 years, they don't have one body of work worth talking about. They only think they're bright because they speak better than you. They don't have one body of work worth talking about. Vibes Cartel denied himself a fair trial when him and him legal team bribed that juror and gave that juror money to go bribe the other juror them. He was not denied a fair trial like them a fight again. He denied himself a fair trial. You're going to hear it further on in the video. This is what they should be pushing. Instead, they're like, well, it's been quashed and this is looking good because this is... These are clowns. Tell them to miss that. This is why you live in the shadow of vloggers. Put up on the numbers. Put up on the numbers. Mainstream. Anyone out there. You're losing the people. The people who really want your wagwan, you are losing them. Mainstream media is dying a slow death. Nothing more than a bunch of speaky, spooky, tap dancing house negroes. Check who own those newspapers and who own those TV stations. It's the custodian class. I'll be damned if I allowed your house negroes to lead the people astray. The PIA is standing ten toes down. I am not impressed by your mediocre journalism qualifications. Where's your body of work? Where's your body of work? 
Rest in peace, Matty Perkins. Raise your body off work. Sit down on TV and skin up face all day. You have nothing to show for it. Nothing. Your daddy put you in positions of power. You can't stand on your own. Go on YouTube by yourself. Make content by yourself. And then we can compare. Then we can see. These are all billion dollar corporations. And they can't build one video equivalent to the Navaja Hadis video. These are billion dollar corporations. And they can't put one video equivalent to the Rajik video. One hour. Intriguing. People say they watch it all six times back to back. That's six hours. A links and friendship bring man pan TV at Jamaica. That is why that freak renter dread ice frack was on that show. Remember saying get him on a show? A links. A friendship and links run Iron Man. When them get them positions, a them friend give them it. It's not the best and the brightest. This is why when you want to see intriguing documentaries and when you want to see intriguing content, you don't go to TVJ, you don't go to CVM, you go to YouTube. These people are getting outshined, outworked, and outperformed by YouTubers. Don't tell me about no journalists or no real journalists. You are pathetic. In 60 years, you have nothing to show for it. All these crime documentaries, when people want to watch them, they must go to foreign channels. And these are billion dollar corporations. Me not talk about the touch pan, me not talk about break it down. You should have heard the nationwide coverage. You should have, you had to be there. You know what I'm saying? You had to be there. You had to be there. How did Nationwide fall so far? Were they always trash? Or just that I never mean, noticed? Me could have swear one time people did take Nationwide serious. I couldn't believe the coverage of my year, you know. Anyone I don't know in a media, TV or radio, newspaper in Jamaica will claim to be a real journalist. Leave that organization that is owned by the custodian class and go up on YouTube, stand on your own, and let's see who is who. Let's see how bright you are. Let's see how interesting you are. Real journalists. Ain't no real journalists. In 60 years, you've never exposed our much of anything ever. Nobody fears you. The machine don't fear the Jamaican mainstream media. The custodian class don't fear the Jamaican mainstream media because they own it. Who do they fear? Who them they on their knees I pray morning and night for drop dead? Who? Yeah, we know who. We know who. The Privy Council could have freed the world sprat outright. The Privy Council could have freed the world sprat outright. They looked at the evidence. Even the Privy Council knows uh, the world sprat guilty. But I'm telling about paperwork and technicality. A paperwork and technicality made this case get sent back to Jamaica. They would have quashed it outright. All that nonsense about phone this and the phone the tamper with Privy Council didn't even look on that nonsense. Right. The evidence is overwhelming. Said the world's part guilty. But the media never stick on this because they could see the wave and they must see the world for free cartel, free cartel. And instead of saying, you know what, this is what we're doing as journalists, we're going to make it clear. Instead, them ride the wave. You will crumble like dry leaves. You will crumble like dry leaves. All these are a bunch of mediocre journalists in an echo chamber patting each other on the back. Oh, you're the best. You're the. You ain't nothing. Nobody in the streets is saying that. When you go in the comment section, nobody is saying or the nationwide. Nobody is saying a Dion Jackson. Me that like, people not say, oh, me go watch more. We can't hear your sir. Please say your time is up. Third, Tom Tavares, Finson, Miguel Lorne, and Co. These devils set this up from day one. The president of the Senate. People set this up from day one. The Aquarium Squad will take the credit. But the entire plan was hatched by Tom Tavares, Finson, and Co. This was set in motion 10 years ago. Michonne said. He made it clear he was happy, right? When time then get turned on by the court of appeal the first time, he said, this is, this is actually not that bad because now we can go privy council. They knew this was grounds to get the conviction quashed. This was not Ice Prats doing. 
is going to take the credit. Bert Samuel is going to take the credit. And I'm going to point to this case as an example of how this was set up by Tom Tavares, Finson, and Miguel Lou and them from day one. They prejudiced their own case and then said, so we'll see, you know, get a fair trial. When at them set it away there. The juror was bribing people to say, not guilty. 500,000, where the money they come from? You think a juror going in my account and take out $500,000 for the other people to save World Sprat? For save Vibes Barabbas? They knew it was a win win situation. If they accept the bribe, then it's not guilty. World Sprat win. If they don't accept the bribe, guess what? Now they can say, oh dear, well, you know, didn't get a fair trial because the juror tried bribe Monday. Oh Lord of mercy. They know the law well. All these loopholes are put in place. All these loopholes are put in place. So the people who know them can exploit them. This was set in motion 10 years ago. Lead me on to point number four. I remember when time they set the DPP term up. Like I think it's, a, it's one of them things they were like, you get like a, like a renew contract, renew contract. Whenever that up or whenever, it's it's over. The DPP, Paula Llewellyn, mom with all due respect, it's over. You, she can't go on. Paula Llewellyn allowed Miguel Lorne and Tom Tavares them to play her like a gig 10 years ago. That's when she lost this battle, you know. She lost it before it started. All this time, them did I play. All this time, them did the thing say, right? The match is still on. The match was over 10 years ago. 10 years ago. If she did start over the trial, she would have been hated. But guess what? She's hated anyway. If she did start over the trial, then would have said, See, I just threw she want to fight it. But they're saying that anyway. But at least then, then would have win. She allowed that devil to play her. Like a game. It's clear, Paula Looney was thinking about the moment. The World Sprat legal team was thinking 10 years ahead. Them know how Privy Council work and them know say, this jury matter will be. The smoking gun. It have got top all the evidence because them know say courthouse is about no justice. Courthouse is about papers and documents. And formalities. And if that's not followed, all the evidence get dashed out. This is why I'm telling you, I will be pro self defense and pro gun till the day the ear leave my body. Anybody who initiates violence against me or my family, don't think you're getting a chance to go in front of the Privy Council. I am pro self defense until the day I die. Because if somebody thinks I'm going to invade my family, invade my home, kill nobody for me. Right. And then me I go turn up in a privy council for 10 years away for no justice. And if a somebody were popular, the whole Jamaica I go to free him. Anybody who initiate violence against me or my family, make sure say, you take me out first. The only justice I believe in is spelled S-I-G-S-A-U. E R, that's my justice. How much time only see man kill and bust case, bust case, bust case. Man, I brag say I have 30 murder and never got jail yet. You think I have any faith in Billy Joe's justice? You think I have any faith that the DPP is going to make something come out of my family's debt? You think I have any faith save something happen to me? Right. The Jamaican justice system or the Privy Council. Or anybody is going to get something come out of it. I have to fight to the death. People like me have to fight to the death. Ain't nothing coming out of this. If people are this nonchalant about lizard, imagine how they would be about the little YouTuber. And people hate me much more than them hate lizard. They even know lizard. Much as for hating. The only justice I believe in is spelled S-I-G. S A U E R. I am pro self defense until the day I die. 
let this be a lesson to the dummies out there. But you don't need to defend yourself. Let's call the police and the justice system. Justice system have its way. S I G S A U E R. If any man thinks them can group up and use no peacock stick and drag over your son, like with them the lizard, any of somebody heard one strand I hear upon my family's head. I mean, stand up there and can't defend it. I'm going to court house when I look justice. I ask the Almighty to take the breath out of my body because I don't deserve it. Let this be a lesson to you. The justice system, even when you have evidence, even when you have videos of the man recording the murder himself, it can still get dashed out on a formality and a technicality. I have no confidence in your system. I will have confidence in my index finger. Right? They have failed repeatedly. Long time may I tell them to fix up the justice system. Improve this, improve that. We'll see it there. Them daddy. Them daddy does tell them. And tell the whole world so them now no use. No them shame like dog. Maybe now they'll react. Because daddy's word mean more than mine. So if daddy says so, then I must say it go. Speaking about daddy. The privy council has set the precedence. If you want to beat a case in Jamaica. Tamper with a jury member. And you win either way. If you try to get somebody to bribe the jury. Whether it work or not. You will still bust the case. The Privy Council has just given every other gang, every 87, out for bus murder case in Jamaica. Just tamper with the jury in some way, shape, or form. Whether threats, because we serious about them use threats, make jury left. Whether bribes, it no matter. If they accept the bribe, you win. If they don't accept the bribe, you can still come back and argue, well, because one of them that tried to this, uh, then it wasn't a fair trial. Win either way. The precedent has been set. Your daddy has set the precedent. There will be further implications from this. They will, this right here is a cheat code. Not people never even know exists. Don't try and act smart now. You didn't know this cheat code existed. But the lawyer them know. They know the system. They are going either way. Can us argue. See it? They can actually point to the worst part case. You see, remember that case that the jury did? And you see, you get through the privy council. So, court of appeal now, if you go start, follow this now, you know. Because them sister, if they make it go further, privy council are going to shoot it down. So, now the case are going to stop even sooner, a court of appeal. The cheat code has been found, it's been exploited. Final point. When, you know, the PIA member linked me, I said, the boy, they said, I'm going to team up and start you know, turning people against you. I thought to myself, that only tells me say, I haven't been working hard enough. Because if people out there still need to get turned against me, if people out there still, or I need, if they them still are trying to make people hate me, that means I'm not working hard enough. Because then people should have hit me a long time. What are they waiting on? What are they waiting on? I know them are trying. I have to work even harder. Being despised by the mainstream and the vloggers and influencers is a compliment. Being despised by the host Negro is a compliment. The agents, it's a compliment. Patron Squad, big up on yourself. PIA, you don't know, more life. Ultra Squad, stay circling.